Hi, Navjot here. Welcome to ED Technology. Today's lecture is on Internet of Things, a brief introduction. This lecture is part of our Internet of Things tutorial series, and uh, we are going to discuss what exactly the IoT is. IoT has been a buzzword and a term uh, hitting the IT markets for a while, and now it has become even a common term in the words of engineering. But a lot of people are not knowing what exactly IoT is. So in this short video, we'll try to introduce what exactly IoT is and how the applications are going to affect you. So basically, what exactly IoT is? What is Internet of Things, the IoT world? So it's a set of connected devices uh, which uh, will help you make the life better. That's what they say. But uh, in terms of the definition, what Wikipedia says is Internet of the Things is a network of devices such as vehicles, home appliances, electronic gadgets, combination of softwares, surrounding sensors, actuators, potentiometers, and a connection line or a connection channel which allows these things to connect, interact, and exchange data for better analytics, better information, better lifestyle, and so many other things. So basically what IoT is, in a simple word, it's a set of interconnected devices or also known as things, which form an ecosystem and which will help you, you know, connect different types of devices over the internet. I, I guess a lot of people would have seen the movie Terminator and heard the word Skynet. Skynet or M2M as they refer in IoT world are similar to, uh, you know, the internet of things. It's a connection of a lot of devices providing so much of data via different sensors, actuators and potentiometers to, uh, you know, better analyze all the applications. So if we were to talk on what are the components of IoT, how is the IoT world comprised of? So basically, IoT is nothing but sensors and actuators for different types of data. So you can have a sensor which is a temperature sensor, you can have a, a moisture sensor, you can have a wind speed direction to, uh, you know, movement and so many other things. Then there are communication lines, which we call the networks or the you know, connectivity. So wherein these devices connect over the internet and communicate. And the third most important people, you know, in order to make this viewpoint working really uh, important is the people. And they also say that IoT world is a smart world. So it's a combination of a lot of smart devices. So whenever you, you know, whenever you hear an IoT, it's combination of sensors, communication channels and the people involved. Now that we know what basically IoT is, it's very important that you understand the applications of IoT. So applications of IoT are broad, really broad. You can use IoT in health in order to monitor your personal health. You can have your sensors. I think a lot of sports people, uh, especially in football, cricket, you would be seeing people like Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi or Virat Kohli having some you know, sensors attached to their body trying to find out what are their patterns, how is their health going on, and so on. Also known as biosensors. Then there are, uh, you know, applications in energy of smart metering, saving energy efficiency to be monitored, how we can reduce the energy consumption, or maybe at least optimize the usage. Smart homes are the, another application, so you can have all the devices connected, like your refrigerators, ACs, and other devices. Factories, which are known as smart factories, have you know, energy efficiencies, resource utilization, optimization, and so many concepts, and also in security. So this is, in turn, uh, you know, some areas of applications of IoT. IoT is, has been there for a very long time. It's also considered a technology of future, but I guess the future is here. And the Internet of Things is already surrounding you via your cell phones and other devices. The sixth sense technology or in your ACs or your mobile phones tracking your work activity and your iPhones tracking your pattern is one of the primary steps of your Internet of Things touching you. So I guess uh, this is good enough to understand what Internet of Things is. For more information, you can always check out our website and the uh, YouTube channel. It's ED Technology on YouTube or the blog is edtechnology.in. You can find more resources. You can interact with us there. And you can share your experiences of what IoT is in your world. Till then, thank you so much for your time. It's Navjot signing off. Hasta la vista.